Hello, I'm Dr. John Clifford, the Chief Veterinary Officer for the United States of America. I'm here today to talk about animal disease traceability. Animal disease traceability, or in other words, knowing where diseased and at-risk animals are, where they've been, and when, is very important to make sure we can respond rapidly when animal disease events take place. On Friday, December the 28th, USDA expects to publish a final rule that outlines new regulations for the traceability of livestock moving interstate in the United States. This final rule greatly enhances animal disease traceability system in the United States. In short, the rule provides a flexible, effective animal disease traceability system without undue burdens for ranchers and U.S. livestock businesses. It is a common sense approach for all of America's livestock producers, especially small producers. Let me be clear about what the rule does and what it does not do. The rule provides two basic requirements for traceability. If an animal is moving interstate, the animal must be one, officially identified, and two, accompanied by appropriate movement documentation. The regulations specified approved forms of identification for each species, but also allow flexibility for the shipping and receiving states and tribes to agree to use another form of identification. The regulations provide options for you, the producer, to choose the type of identification device that works best for your operation. Animal movement records must be kept for a certain amount of time, between two and five years, depending on the species. The new rule does not require every animal in the country to be identified. It applies only to animals moving interstate, and there are also specific exemptions for certain classes of animals and types of movements provided within the rule. The rule does not require a specific identification tag or tell producers what format they must use for record keeping. The new rule will take effect on or about Tuesday, February 26, 2013. So you are probably wondering what you need to do to ensure your animals are eligible for interstate movement. Well, let me break this down by species. For sheep, goats, swine, and poultry, you really won't see much, if any, change from what you're currently doing. The traceability systems already in place in these industries are providing the information we need. For equines, you may see some changes if you do not currently identify your animals or use movement documentation. However, there are exemptions in place for use as transportation or veterinary examination. Those of you who raise cattle will see some changes. Unless otherwise exempt, cattle and bison must be officially identified and accompanied by an interstate certificate of veterinary inspection or other movement document. Beef cattle under 18 months of age, unless they are moved interstate for shows, exhibitions, rodeos, or recreational events, are exempt from the official identification requirement in this rule. All other cattle and bison require official identification under the regulation. To make it easy for producers to figure out exactly what they need to do to comply with the regulations, USDA has created a series of fact sheets targeted to each species. These fact sheets lay out the types of approved identification and movement documentation as well as any exemptions that apply. You can find them and other materials about the Traceability Final Rule on our website at www.aphis.usda.gov backslash traceability.